morning. Good morning. So I'm gonna film another weekly vlog. So a few you said you really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna film another one. I have a lot of things coming up this week. So I'll take you along with me. Um, it's now 9 a.m. This is really early for me to be up at 9 a.m. Um, I've got a leave for my boob job consultation. And I know what you guys are gonna say, I do not need it because every time when I speak about someone, they always say, you don't, you do not need it, you're crazy. But I used to be a double D. I am now like a big B. So it's just a massive different in size. And I'm also like the same size, body size. So I have been a small, small B, a big B. I cannot speak in the morning. I'm a morning person, but I cannot speak, Jesus. Um, so yeah, I just wanna be a double D again. I had a boob job consultation two years ago. Noki, Noki. I had a boob job consultation two years ago and I just, because I was so like in a bad mindset, I, I was a really small bee then. I was really skinny, I lost a lot of weight. Um, I was also ill, so when I came back around, I was just, I just didn't have any boobs, I was really skinny. So I was like, yeah, I need a boob job. I went in for my boob job consultation, straight away put a deposit down. I was, in my mind, I was like, yeah, I'm ready, I just want big boobs. Um, so I put a grand deposit down and then, Noki. Oh, he's got the zoomies. My dog has the zoomies. It's too early. Noki. Um, <laughs> where was I? So he wanted me to go really big. And in the back of my mind, I was like, these boobs are too big for me. But I was like, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. And then a week before my surgery, I cancelled because I just wasn't ready. I felt like I needed to... Like I said, I was really insecure. I wasn't in the right mindset. So I was like, I just need to eat more food, get on a healthy diet, and I just love myself a bit more. So I did. I ended up putting more weight. I got a bit more boobs, and I was so glad I didn't go ahead with it. Anyway, since I've been eating like dead healthy, going to the gym every day, um, I just don't really have that much boobs anymore. So I do want to go in for a consultation. I don't know. Part of me is like, yes, I'm 100%. But... You know, I might go and be like, do you know what, I'm not ready. It's not like my boobs are bad, they're not sagging or anything. I just miss having big titties. <laughs> so this, I really need to get ready, I keep like, Noki. I feel like I can't do two things at the same time. Like I'm trying to brush my hair and I, I can't talk and brush my hair at the same time. Um, so this week, I'm gonna go for my boob job consultation. I'm getting my hair done. I wanna go like blonder, bronze. Um, I've got a girls night or a girls festival on Saturday but it's meant to be outside and apparently it's gonna be raining in Manchester so me and the rain do not go well together especially with my frizzy hair no so I am ready to head out with my girls um I literally got ready so quick it's like 12 now um I got up so late I still need to have breakfast so I got myself a Starbucks and some toasty my friends actually gonna be here in a bit so i'm like this is a quick little video but this is my outfit um i just want to kind of go simple and i'm gonna wear my like silver bag um but yeah i'm in such a rush i feel like i haven't even showed you guys my hair but i just got like a bunch of highlights it is so windy here in manchester my hair i walked my dog my hair's already frizzy i straightened it I'm in such a rush and I haven't had breakfast yet. I'm so hungry. But yeah, my friend's going to come here. I'm going to try and film when I'm in there, maybe. Um, but I'll see because I still want to have fun. But the event finishes at 10. Um, I don't think I'll stay there the whole time because I need to come back and like feed my pets and walk knocky. It's a random helicopter here. And then this is an event here. It's so random. Just with um, my mates now. We're just sorting out like... Just sorting out wristbands. It's just so random because it's like a helicopter in this field where the... How cute, they've got like little silver mushrooms. Um, it's only just starting to get busy now. Um, it's like one now. Jade is on a um, photography job. <laughs> so cute. Woo, drinks on you. <laughs> Yeah. 
studio and I just love that it's all just guys doing it all getting involved I love it look at the state of me it's now almost half four i've only just got out of bed um <laughs> but i'm just currently eating garlic bread um very healthy <laughs> got some eye patches i'm just trying to like recharge myself i've got two bottles of sparkling water there i'm literally sat on the floor i don't know why i'm not sat on my sofa um not had a lazy Sunday like this in probably a year um, even when I'm hungover I'm always doing something this is the first time I've stayed in bed all day in such a long time and it actually feels nice normally I feel so guilty for not doing anything um, just being like a little lazy piglet <laughs> so it's really nice to really truly be lazy it feels good normally I feel really guilty for being lazy I feel like I always have to do something but it's a Ooh, a proper lazy Sunday. So I just got sent a bunch of meal preps, which I'm so excited to try. Good. I've actually got one, um, what's it called in the microwave? This one is a Thai green chicken noodle salad. Apparently they've all got, I can't really see the front on that, but most of them have got like 40 grams of protein. Oh my God, I can't even, I need to put my glasses on. So I'm excited to try that. But yeah, this is just so handy for my busy schedule. I feel like recently, I used to always make meal preps all the time and I've just been too busy to do it. So this is handy for when I've come back from the gym or work um, or coming back from like my holiday, it's a short little trip. So I'm excited to try this. I'm gonna try one now, it's just in the microwave. Um, I've got so much shit to do today. I have to go down to London on Wednesday and then get a flight to Belgium for tomorrow, lad. I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you what I'm packing and what outfits I've got. Oh, the food's ready. Um, my flat is a mess. Do you wanna see this? Because I was so hungover yesterday, I fully sloughed out and look at all this rubbish. My, my sock, my sock, my dog has been taking all my socks in here, ripped up some of his toys. Um, well, this is all my mess. <laughs> the cereal as well i oh my god i've left the fridge open i am literally living like such a pig at the minute um ooh, oh that's hot <gasps> this smells so good <laughs> wow this smells and looks amazing look at that i'm so hungry i did um ah i just made that look so not pretty now <laughs> but this smells so good <laughs> Can you smell that Nucky? Hey! <laughs> so I did legs today and my ass is killing me. I'm so hungry as well. I tried to do an hour in the step, but it lasted about 15 minutes. Um, maybe next time. I'm just so dead. I was so, did I get a Starbucks today? Oh my God, I did. I was about to say, I was so close to getting a Starbucks and I didn't get it in the end. No, I got a Starbucks today. Um, I didn't get one yesterday, I really wanted one, but I'm trying to be good. It is so strong, like the coffee is so strong. Every time I take it, I'm like a bouncy ball. It makes me so hyper. So yeah, I'm gonna eat now, and then I need to like deep clean my flat. Um, I wanna like fake tan, scrub myself. Um, I need to get my nails done tomorrow. I need to pack for tomorrow land. I've still not unpacked from my last two trips. So I have to put a big wash on. So much to do and I've also got a lot of work to do as well, which I need to start. I also need to sort out my tax. I feel like I've got so much shit to do. And I think I'm gonna go down to London either Wednesday morning or maybe Tuesday night. So I've got a lot to do before that. Don't mind me looking like the little moon. Um, I'm gonna have another one of my um, meal prep. I'm gonna try the, this one says best selling butter chicken. I was gonna try uh, the jerk chicken one, but this one said best seller, so I'm hungry. I want to try this. Um, 
I'm having a little self-care evening because it's a new moon, so I want to clean and cleanse myself. I want to clean my apartment. It's slowly getting better, slowly getting tidy. Um, I need to finish unpacking for my last two trips. I need to pack. Yeah, time to feed my pets. Feeding time at the zoo. So we got Noki, look at him. And then mum and son. Where's Kygo gone? Kygo! Hey, handsome. Four pets, it's actually mad. Um, so. Hi, mister. Also, I just want to show you guys my living room. It's a bit. I don't know how I feel about it. I used to just have this there and then like loads of plants, but this area felt so empty and all oh, my food. I got distracted by my food. Um, so this sofa was from my spare room. It's actually a sofa bed because I didn't want to buy a bed. I just wanted like a sofa bed because I don't really have people around. So yeah, I thought I'd add it in here because this area was so empty and I just feel like it's so much more cozy. But this, this sort of vibe does not go with this vibe do you know what i mean i just don't know if it goes but it just feels so much more cozy now when i'm you know watching a film and there's just because when i'd be sat here there'd just be like a massive area there it just felt so empty and i've got this chair here um this tv is so big it's crazy um but yeah i just don't have a, any money to be getting a new sofa or chair hey my camera turned off and also i feel like this rug doesn't fit with i need like a longer rug so yeah, I don't really have any money to be buying a new thing. So I'm happy with it for now. It's very like cozy vibes. Um, I just feel so much more cozy now. There's more furniture in here. So I've just got back from town. I literally wearing no makeup today. No fake tan. I look so white right now. Um, I look awful. <laughs> so I was gonna film what I've been doing today at work, but I just didn't have time. So. I also went to get my nails done on my break. How cute is this? I was just gonna go for like the pearl sort of, the Hailey Bieber nails, but I wanted some nail art for Tomorrowland. Like I wanted some funky nails for Tomorrowland. So I've done that. Um, I've literally been walking around town doing returns for work. I also had to get my client a bag. Um, I can't show you cause I'm gonna keep it shut, but the bag, the Selfridges bag is like soaked because the weather is awful. And I decided to walk back because I just don't want to spend any money on Ubers. I want to try and save a lot of money at the minute. And even though it's only like, what, seven pounds, it all adds up. So I walked back, I'm soaked, my hair's a mess. I'm a mess, this bag's a mess. But I bought some new pieces, um, just some new makeup because I needed some, let's see if I can balance this. I still haven't got my GoPro stand, a new one. I'm hoping that it comes today, so I can't even stand it. I'm hoping that it comes today, otherwise I don't know how I'm going to vlog in Belgium for Tomorrowland. I'm going to struggle. Ah! So yeah, I'm going to try and head down to London either tonight or tomorrow morning so I can send some stuff to my client and also my train my train my flight is leaving from london um but i bought some new makeup my mascara has been dried for so long i've been needing mascara for so long but i just haven't had the money and yeah so i bought some new mascara just the bad girl benefit mascara waterproof i need waterproof because i always find when i go to festivals or raves it just like leaks and then i have like panda eyes so i'm not doing that um, God, this is all crushed. I also got the lip liner in Chestnut from MAC. I've been wanting this for so long and I've been debating it, whether or not to get it because I've been worried that, what if I don't like it? So I've been constantly looking at reviews on it, pictures, and trying it on my hand. I thought I'd go for it. It's very dark, but I just wanted a darker lip liner. And the guy suggested to get this lipstick in, I don't even know what color it is. Viva Glam. I'll try it on for you in a bit. I feel like my hair looks so crazy. Like I've just been out in the rain and I don't know, I'm just a mess right now. I'm not used to not being glammed up, but color's cute. I'm gonna try it on. I hate this. I look like a goth. I don't know, maybe maybe I need a tan, but it's gone like purple, brown. I don't like this on me. I've just wasted my money. So I am just packing for Tomorrowland and I'm thinking of like having one of 
I can't even speak today. I've had two coffees and my brain's like, whoo. Um, I'm thinking of packing this as one of my outfits. I got this from Bali, I think. So the little silver bag, some cowboy boots. I've really planned my other two outfits like a month before, two months before. Um, I just need like another outfit. I'm literally wearing stuff that I've already worn before. Um, I've actually not worn these before, but I bought this back in November. Um, this is new to be fair. I was meant to wear this in Ibiza, I think it was, but it never came in time. I've never worn a hot pants in my life, and I just realized like my butt cheeks are like fully out. And I, I hate this part of my body because it's just like so much cellulite. You can't see in this lighting with this camera, but I have like so much cellulite here. So now, like, I don't know if I want to wear this. Also, like, look at the state of my dressing room. It's such a mess at the minute. Like, my whole apartment is just a mess. But, yeah, I need to pack. This outfit, I've already worn in Ibiza with these shoes. But I want to wear them again because it was such a cute outfit. So, yeah, I'm pretty much wearing things I've already worn. Um, I've not bought anything new for Tomorrowland. I mean, this is covered in cat fur. This, I ordered for Ibiza, but it came super late. So, I'll be wearing that because I've not worn that yet. Um, this bag is probably my most expensive bag I have and I only ever wear it to raves like this is my rave bag <laughs> such a bougie rave bag um, and I also I love carrying this as a rave bag too because it's just such good quality and it's so funky god I am so excited though this has been on my bucket list for so long and I can't believe I'm going <laughs> Kai girl how handsome is he Noki Look, hey, Papa. Hi. <laughs> so I've just checked into my Airbnb and it's so cute. The bed is huge. This is a view from outside. I think this area is just so beautiful. Um, it was so funny because when I came out the airport, I feel like the lighting's so bad. When I came out the airport, there was people like dressed up and was greeting everyone like, yeah, woo, Tomorrowland. <laughs> it was so cool. Um, but yeah, Tomorrowland is tomorrow. I've just put fake tan on my face and I feel like it's a bit orange. <laughs> My teeth look so white, but yeah, Tomorrowland is tomorrow. I am so excited. I can't wait. The weather isn't too great. It's quite cloudy, but I'm praying. I'm praying it doesn't rain. It's right now is to get some food because I'm really hungry. There's not many restaurants near here. Um, so I'm going to try and find one near the gym. Ugh, I can't speak. I'm going to try and find one near the gym so I can just get a taxi somewhere, eat some food, work out. I really want to go to the gym today. I normally never go to the gym on holiday, but the outfits I'm wearing here, one of them is very... I need a flat stomach. I need some abs. So I want to go train legs and then abs and then do like loads of cardio. I want to be on the stepper for an hour, um, which I'll struggle, but it needs to be done. It looks like it's going to rain. Cloudy day. Bho has got us a little a little gift, so I want to open it. Feels like Christmas. <laughs> Feels like Christmas. Oh, sweets. I've got a good one. I'll be chomping on these. I don't know what these are. But I am hungry. Oh. Mmm. These are so nice quick little fit check. I feel so girly in this right now. I need to wash my fake tan. Okay, quick fit check. <laughs> I feel like I'm not even getting in this, but I've got my little bone tea set. I'm gonna go to the gym now. So I'm just in the supermarket and I've never seen like so many different types of veg, like white asparagus, they did white apples, but it's just like different types of mushrooms. I've never been somewhere like this. It's such a good supermarket. So just got back from the gym and I want to eat healthy, no carbs. So I've got this veg. I'm also going to have all this chicken and some asparagus, dead healthy. I want to, oh, I want my skin to be glowing. Been to the gym, going to go to bed. And then tomorrow is Tomorrowland. How exciting. <laughs> Yum. Good morning. So I've literally just woken up and it is the morning of Tomorrowland. 
I'm so excited. I feel like I've put so much fake tan on my face. I'm like slightly orange. But yeah, I need to get ready and have some breakfast. Um, I can't wait to wear like some funky outfits and just see all the cool stages. I've been dying to come here since I was 17. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me and I honestly cannot wait. So hair and makeup. I feel like the lighting's making me go funny. The hair and makeup is all done. I'm now gonna have a little a little pre-drink with Ooh. it's also like it's still raining a bit um which is annoying because i've just done my hair and makeup and i've straightened my hair um but i added the wow color dream coat so i'm praying that even though it's going to be raining my hair's not going to go frizzy i'm really praying because otherwise i've just done my hair for nothing <laughs> But I might go and get a little poncho. But yeah, I'm gonna have like something small to drink. I also got so I tried this drink in um Switzerland. They had like vodka and iced tea, and it was so good. So I'm praying that this is the right one that I had in Switzerland. But if it is, this is like the best drink, the best mixer to have with vodka. <laughs> It's not nice. I think I got the wrong one. It just tastes like pure vodka. I don't even know if you can see my camera, but it's raining loads now. Anyway, um, so because I'm a tramp and I like to save money, I bought like baby food. I'm gonna try and empty this or this and put vodka in and then just hide it in my cowboy boots because I can't be bothered to be spending loads of money on drinks. Oh my God, it's raining loads. I'm gonna have to get a poncho. Um, but yeah, I do not like spending loads of money on drinks, so I'm gonna try and sneak something in. I normally have these little pouches, but I forgot to pack them with me. Um, but I'm praying it's not gonna be too expensive because when I was in Switzerland and in Ibiza, it was just like crazy amount. But yeah, I'm gonna put my outfit on now and have a little drink. And this bottle, I'm gonna keep it as a souvenir, as a little memory, because it's so cute. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. I'm also, oh, it's like silver earrings, silver bag. I'm gonna put some boots on as well. Um, but I was gonna wear this outfit in Ibiza, but it never came in time, so I finally get to wear it. And I've been waiting so long to wear it, and I'm excited. It is not raining now, thank God. Not raining at all. So I'm praying that it's gonna stay like this because I don't want my hair to get frazzled.
I've not vlogged at all. I've kind of like this trip, just wanted to be in the moment, enjoy Thailand. But I might still post it and kind of do like a weekly vlog with Thailand. But this is my third outfit. Got these little shards from Bali. And a poster girl dress, it's actually broken. Like all these little bits have come off. Um, and then I'm also wearing cowboy boots. I have to be quiet because there's like people sleeping. Um, But I'm pre-drinking and look at the weather. The weather is so bad. Um, it's almost five and no, almost half four and I just don't want to walk in that rain. I've just done my hair and makeup, but I'm gonna try and get like a poncho. Okay, I'm just gonna add a bit to this vlog because I feel like Tomorrowland ruined me and I couldn't really vlog that much and I also wanted to be in the moment so I kind of stopped vlogging basically when I got into the festival but I did get a few clips. Um, anyway, after the festival I had a spa hotel booked um, so I went to go check into my spa hotel. Now as I was checking in, you know, I noticed there was a lot of like old men, okay, but I didn't really think much of it, I just noticed there was a lot of old people here. As I'm checking in, they're like, oh, you can use the spa. I was like, yeah, sure. And she's like, but it's a no bikini rule. And I was like, oh, okay. She was like, you can wear a robe, but you're not allowed to wear your bikini in the pool anywhere else. You've got to be like fully nude underneath. So I was just like, okay, <laughs> me being hungover. So as I was waiting in the queue, I kept turning around to like go into my bag and like put stuff away. And I kept looking eye with this old man when I was walking past and kept staring at me. I was like, he keeps looking at me. And when, and then it, it clocked into my head, he's probably stared at me because he's probably thinking, I can't wait to see this girl in the nude, nude swimming. <laughs> anyway, I get to um, the cafe, I'm in my robe, fully nude underneath, and I'm just having my latte, you know, staring out the window. This window is like huge, and it, and it outlooks the pool, the sauna. There's like loads of saunas. The spa's amazing, by the way. So I'm just like watching everyone. And there's just like loads of old men in the nudes with their shrimp out. I'm just like, I've never been so traumatized in my life. And I'm like, I'm too scared to be here, but like, I've just paid so much money. The hotel was like 209. I literally booked it because it had an amazing spa. Some of the sauna had a um, fish tank in them. Like it was insane. Um, anyway, I finally found like this really hidden sauna. It was so cool. You walk in and it was like a cottage sort of vibe. It felt like another universe. So I go in and there was an empty sauna. I was like, I can finally go in the nude. So I was just there, you know, but naked. <laughs> it was really nice. Like a, probably the best spa facility I've ever been to. Um, however, slightly traumatized and a lot of old people the food there's really good though really good so i went back into my hotel room to like change but when you go back downstairs the restaurant's like linked to the spa so you have to be in your dressing gown so i quite like it you just chill in your dressing gown all day and yeah <laughs> but it was really amazing but yeah tomorrowland is definitely a festival i will 100 go back to next year it is insane the stage the detail of it is insane the music is good um, I do find other festivals, I don't know, I, was, I thought the music would be a bit better, like it was still good, but I was amazed by all the stages and all the characters dressed up, like it was so cool. It's a, definitely a must, if you've never been, you have to go.